Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Cancerians and it's for November, a little bit over 2024. It's all about your money, my dear Cancer, your finance, your work, your career, everything you need to know about your money. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, my dear Cancer. Thank you all for being here, my dear viewers. Let us begin to see what are the two most important factors for all Cancerians to know for November. And we've got the smith. This is about taking action and not overthinking. I'm just putting the glasses on. Not overthinking situations too much. Don't overthink it. And it's time for you to take action. And just go for it without any hesitation. Overthinking, sometimes you can miss out on opportunities. Let's see the next one for my dear cancer, right? For November. The thief sees the moment right now. Take action. Be selfish. My dear cancer, you maybe... Uh, this is a situation where you need to be considerate of others' feelings. It, you've done that, been there. Now it's time for you to be a bit selfish and seize the moment. Take advantage because there is a key resolution for you. And both of these cards are saying that um, don't ever think it. Don't think too much about it. Just take action now. Seize the moment and take action. How incredible and how synchronized they are both with this message of not procrastinating. Okay, now let's have a look at further two more messages for all. My dear Cancerians, November, a little bit over, money, work, career, prosperity. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll just drink some water. One moment. Because it's less than a moment, I don't stop it. Prosperity. Changes are coming on to bring you prosperity and a lot of it. So a lot of prosperity on its way to you, my dear Cancer. Enjoy it and be aware of it so that you can enjoy it, especially because there are changes that are bringing on this prosperity. Let's see the next one for all Cancerians. Wow, you are going to be given the power, the strength, the courage to um, to start something really wonderful. And I feel like you are going to be in collaboration with someone. There's alliance, there's someone partnership, and it's going to bring you foundation and a lot of a lot of power, a lot of power coming your way. Let's ask one important message to see what is in cancer's heart and what is the answer that might support them although all this is support um but i just want to know one sp specific message for all cancerians wow we've got a yes so whatever you're thinking should i shouldn't i is it going to work is it yes 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 go for it and both of these cards are saying yes take, seize the moment take advantage of the situation be a, even if you have to, even if you might feel a little bit selfish, it's okay. Now it's okay because you've done everything for everybody else. This is the time for you to prosper. This is the time you are given to um, take advantage of any situation, any given situation that is destined for you now. Okay, let's take two more messages for all Cancerians for November and a little bit over. Money work career. We'll start with the first one. Feeling entrapped at the mercy of circumstances, at the mercy of others. This is going to change. It won't last. I'll put it over here. This is just temporary, the situation. Let's have a look. Another message for all Cancerians. The truth and freedom. So that's what I meant. Um, this is being trapped and at the mercy of circumstances, not able to move. Even though the truth of the matter is you've got to take action to free yourself, but sometimes divine timing plays the biggest role. And that's why they're saying now, seize the moment, take advantage, be selfish. Don't, if you're not happy where you are and you don't want to leave your boss uh, on, you know, like leave them because they'll go without your services and they'll find hard to, to bring someone and teach them. And, and you might be considering their feelings. If you've reached to a level where you're feeling overwhelmed just let go and don't think of anyone be a bit selfish it's not something i usually would say but that's the message from the heavens um you are going to be set free free from cares and worries and that is that is beautiful that is truly magnificent that is synchronicity to the highest level it's as though the heavens are saying that you've done enough you've worried enough don't worry anymore just take action this is about you now the truth for all Cancerians. I love that. So direct. Wow. You know, when I was shuffling the red ones, I kept on shuffling. And every time at the end, I look at it. I've got a habit. I look. And there it was. The Three of Cups celebrations. Rejoicing and celebrating. Big celebrations. 
um, something magnificent is coming together, something incredible. You might be joining, actually, alliance with others and, you know, creating something wonderful. It is possible. We'll see if the Three of Pentacles will come in your reading. Okay, let's take the next one. Oh, my God, it just threw itself out. <laughs> How incredible when they do that. And you know what this is? This is the Six of Wands. And this shows that there is going to be material and material and spiritual prosperity. Just like this prosperity. The Six of Wands is about rewards, victories, applause from the heaven, recognition, and major, major prosperity. Just like here we have prosperity. As you can see, prosperity is all over the place for you. All over the place. How amazing. And what a wonderful wonderful situation here now what i'm going to do is just bring this over here and put this one there that's better here we go okay it looks amazing now let's begin with the next thing four messages we're going to take for every cancerian november a little bit over money work career entrapment again wow with a different deck Again, it shows, yes, you are at the mercy of circumstances and the truth of the matter. You should be free, but you're not able to now. But guess what? The heavens are going to release you. You are going to be released big time. Trust me. Oh, my God. What are the synchronicities? Look at that. How amazing. You are going to be free from being entrapped. How I love this. You know, when I see these, this is magic, the magic from heaven. Um, from being trapped to absolutely having freedom and no cares in the world. My dear Cancer, this is going to be worth celebrating big time. You are going to be loving this, this outcome here, what I'm seeing. So celebration is big time. So how amazing. Mm, absolutely incredible. Freedom and freedom and more freedom. Wow, celebration. What are the synchronicities? Do you see that? How incredible. This is magic. This is magic at play. This is the power of the heavens. I love it when I see it so deeply, so, so, so much in so many ways. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, my dear Cancer, this is magic. Wow. You are going to be celebrating big time. And I feel like the celebration are going to be with your freedom. You are going to be freed. And the reason I say you're celebrating your freedom is because of this. You see, otherwise I wouldn't say it. this entrapment, this feeling at the mercy of circumstances, this is coming to an end. You are going to be free, free from something that's been binding you and hurting you and upsetting you and, and just not getting your justice. You are going to get your justice big time. Trust me, you are. I love the synchronicities. They're just magic. I wish all readings were like this. How incredible that would be. Wow. Okay, one more. And we have, there is a chapter that's come to an end. It's reached an impasse. There's no way out. It's an end. end. So as I was saying, my dear viewers, that the two of swords shows a dead end. Something that's reached to an end. You might not be seeing it. The other party might be not, not seeing it. But the reality of the matter is, there is a situation coming to an absolute ending and I feel like destiny is removing something from your life and moving you away from this entrapment, feeling unhappy. You're getting removed from this and it's a situation that comes to an absolute ending. Beautiful. So we've got one, two, three, four, and that's that. What you don't see happening, why all this is happening? Because you're destined for a rebirth and that's what's magnificent. That's why you've got this new beginning filled with happiness, filled with a lot of money, um, money coming your way, exceptional amounts of money, and a rebirth, uh, a compensation for uh, for all your efforts, a new life awaits you. Maybe that's what you are celebrating. You're celebrating something magnificent, that's for sure. So it could be you're celebrating your freedom, it could be you're celebrating this money, it could be also celebration of money that you're celebrating. Something big happens to the point where you'll be able to to do so much, um, help others who are in need, so much money could be coming in, play the lotto, use your numbers that are in the community section of this channel, use them, play them, there's three consecutive years that you were given numbers, and um, they're in the community section under the star signs, lucky numbers, and then it's called lucky numbers, you go in and look for cancer and get the numbers for cancer, play them, um, as small as uh, the cost of a coffee cup, do it every month, 
and be prepared. I feel like your life is changing and there's a lot of money coming to you where you will be able to do charities, help others, buy your dream wish maybe, buy your dream business, be empowered, release yourself from where you're at and have this new beginning because you are destined for a lot of compensation and a new lease of life. So it's all going to happen for you, which is wonderful. Now let's have a look at some more messages. I want three messages, one at a time, for all cancer is the truth. And we've got money strategies. Why spending, long game, but also thinking things through and implementing some strategies that will give you that long term. Um, careers in military, leadership, ma management, and thinking, a lot of thinking, management and managing situations, implementing uh, strategies, could be another job, another career, the next one for all Cancerians. It looks like your steady income is doing well, organizing accomplishments, maybe to buy your own business or to start something new. This is about self-employment. Careers where you work for yourself or working from home, home-oriented business. Also, it could be about arts and crafts or doing something to do with arts or home decorations and so forth. One more message for all Cancerians. Money, work, career. Suddenly, there is going to be a change. A sudden change, a lot of crazy spending, short-term loan even you might consider because of this important thing that happens quickly. And um, some of you are going to be moving for work. Some of you uh, might be considering careers in the arts. We've got arts twice. You might be doing your own thing. Temporary jobs and fun work. Sudden change and fun work. That's what the butterfly stands for. Okay, so I'll just put this over here. Bear with me. That's it. Okay. Now that we established that, there are two more messages. Oh, that's the first one we've got. It says, embrace your enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. You are going to be shouting to the heavens with happiness. Not with the enthusiasm, but with happiness. So you are going to be very happy at what's coming. And something big is coming. And look at this. Look at the butterflies in both of these. Look at the butterflies. The butterfly is about change. And I said to you, I said, change is coming. You see, because this is also number five, which is all about change. And change is going to bring you prosperity. A lot of prosperity coming your way, my dear Cancer. So prepare for something magical taking place in your life. Absolutely magic. And the next message, I'll take two more. There's one, one more. Oops, and another one just fell. Okay. So it says choosing your path is going to be very important. Everything is possible now. Just like they said, seize the moment, you can do it. Everything becomes possible now. You can take action and move forward. And the next one is um, Voyage of the Heart. It says love um, flows through you and to you. There's going to be a lot of love all around you. So you'll be surrounded with love. And that's magical. Now let's um, clarify some cards and see what's going on. We're going to start with the Eight of Swords and see what is this entrapment all about. And maybe it's perhaps some timing as to when you're going to be released. You're leaving. You're unhappy. You're leaving a situation that you feel trapped. And at the mercy of circumstances, you're leaving it. Without a doubt, you're absolutely leaving. So leaving an unhappy situation where there's unhappiness and conflict, you are emotionally very unhappy and that's why you're leaving and you are. You are going to be leaving. And this is an end, which is all connected to the Two of Swords. And there is a new beginning and a great new victory for you coming. A lot of understanding, a lot of um, aha moments, breakthroughs. Let's have a look at the Six of Wands, all these rewards that are coming from the heavens and the great victories. It says something is hidden that you don't know. It's in connection to someone like yourself, water, energy, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Something wonderful is happening with this person. There's a lot of money coming. And it could be connected to someone of water, energy, but there is a lot of money. And you are going to be um, in gratitude for a lot, of, a lot of blessings that are going to be pouring into your life. So that's magnificent what you don't see happening. And this is all in connection to freeing you. It could be connected to someone of water energy and fire. Fire energy here, very strong also, Sagittarius. So I'm going to take these out because they came out all together. Very interesting. They're all connected to the six of them. Part of your reward system is going to be spectacular. Let's move on to the two of swords. What is ending? What's the two of swords? Right, separation, hurtful, painful truth, coming to an end. 
you are going to be, um, you might be dealing with someone of fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, someone that has uh, fire in them. This is coming to an end, this uh, Two of Swords. Absolutely, a situation comes to an end. Maybe you've been sacrificing. It's just, it's reached to its limit. It's ending. You've been putting your interest aside. Let's see the freedom, the fool for every Cancerian. Yes, you're leaving the past behind you and saying goodbye to the past. Starting fresh with someone new, and this someone new is fire energy. Wow. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I feel Sagittarius being the strongest for majority, but then because we have the king, it could be even Leo very strong, or Aries, because we had, um, I think we had the emperor. Well, Aries is there also, fire energy. Um, you can have a look at your general reading and see who the fire energy is. You'll get to know exactly who they are. And what's combined with them, you'll have an idea. And also find out who the water energy is. Because on top of not just yourself, there is another water energy. Something hidden about a water, water energy connected to fire. Scorpio. Pisces. Cancer. Connected to Sagittarius. Leo. Aries. So there is a water-fire connection. But you are saying goodbye to the past, that's for sure. And that's what's setting you free, actually. When you are saying goodbye, you're being set free. A lot of truth, a lot of revelations will come to light and you'll be able to move forward uh, very happy. You'll move forward gradually and happy uh, because you'll see your path clearly. You'll have light and clarity and illumination and you'll see what is coming and how to proceed without any headaches, without any problems, without any pitfalls. Let's have a look at the rise in your money with the the six of pentacles. Right, this is in connection to someone of earth energy and fire. Now, this could be Aries, someone earth energy that has Aries in them. Very strong Taurus here. I'm picking up Taurus. Could be an early Taurus that might have Aries in them. Um, this person is going to be very generous with you. I feel like this person is coming in your life and you are going to be very happy. That's why you're shouting to the heaven because of this person. You are going to be very, very happy. Now, the um, Aries one here, the, the emperor shows you will be in control in your life. You are going to be in authority and in control of your life. And I feel like very slowly things are going to fall into place for you. Let's have a look at the page of wands. Let's see the truth about the page of wands. Right. It shows a new beginning. And um, it is going to be a situation where a lot of truth that you've been searching for is going to be uh, answered. There is a situation that will resolve this questioning that you're questioning. The Hermit is about questioning. It's about the Virgo also, a Virgo. For those of you who have got Virgo in you, you might be born Virgo with a lot of cancer. I do feel like, um, or you might be cancer with Virgo. I feel like uh, something big is going to happen, uh, information that might come to light. Or um, there might be something that needs resolving. It is going to be resolved if you act quickly. Oh my God, this is to do with this. You see, the Smith is all about acting, taking advantage of a situation quickly and not procrastinating and not thinking it, overthinking it. Just take action. It's going to give you a resolution to problems. It's going to also give you a release. It's going to give you a great opportunity. And all your questions will be answered. It is connected to some new situation. Um, a new path, and it is to do with the Page of Wands. There is a great possibility of a windfall here, very strong windfall. I'll take this card, yeah, money out of them, and a victory. So you are destined. It looks to me like you might be destined for some sort of windfall because this is big money. All of a sudden, something big is happening. Maybe that's why you're borrowing money because you might have a windfall and you might think, that's it, I've got the right money's going to come anyway. But you are set free, free from cares and worries. And that tells me that there is something big happening that you are going to be celebrating. Something magnificent, a lot of wealth, a lot of money that you are celebrating big time. Something incredible that's taking place. Something magical. My dear Cancer, this is what's setting you free. This is what's giving you freedom. And celebration, it's all over the place. And I feel like this is really major. Now, finally, what I'm going to do is find out about the freedom and the celebrations. Freedom first. 
right? You're leaving a very painful chapter, even though leaving it unhappy, but you're leaving. A very painful karmic chapter ends in your life. It's over and you're going. And you are going to be set free. You should have left some time ago. You are going to say, I should have left some time ago, but you didn't want to hurt those around you. Let's see what is it is that you are celebrating. What What is it that you're celebrating? The celebrations, revelations of the truth, and finally seeing your path clearly. This is for those cancers that have air energy like Aquarius in them, Gemini, Libra, somewhat of air energy advising you the truth, but I feel like this is air and air energies with cancer. Uh, a lot of truth is coming, a lot of revelations. You're seeing your path and you're finally leaving. You're going somewhere where you are going to be free. A lot of rewards, an end of a chapter that was very painful, and that's what you're celebrating. You're celebrating that ending. And that is magnificent. Wow, absolutely incredible. So the answer is yes, prosperity is going to be there for you. Um, my dear Cancer, without a doubt. I also feel like um, the freedom that you're seeing here is overwhelming. You are set free and you are celebrating this freedom. This freedom is so important for you. You're, and you know what? Suddenly something is happening. That suddenly is where you are set free. All of a sudden you're set free. And you are going to be celebrating. End of a karmic chapter. A karmic chapter completely, completely and utterly ends something that was overwhelming you. It's over. There's going to be a great victory. You're overcoming a major obstacle. And it's finally going to be over. Cancer, okay, so this is your card. And you've got to pay attention also to your driving. Very important. But I do feel like you're ending a chapter and you are going to be given a lot of gifts, a lot of happiness, a lot of rewards. That's what this is all about. The Six of Wands is all about extra, exceptional amounts of rewards coming your way. Rewards to the highest level and degree. Wow. That is magnificent. Magnificent. So there is so much money, so much wealth coming your way. Um, so much abundance that you won't even know what to do and how to divide it and what to do and how to invest in and how to help others who are in need and how to support those that you love. Play the lotto, play the lottery. I just feel something really major that will transcend your life to high levels and ground-changing money is there for you, without a doubt. And that is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. My dear Cancer, do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free. It takes a few seconds to click subscribe. And please support me by seeing the videos all the way to the end. I can't wait to hear your feedback. I look forward to doing your next reading. Namaste. All my best wishes. And then namaste.